Hey guys, Cece back with another video and today's video is going to be my April favorites video. It is already freaking May. Like, what? That blows my mind. It's already May. This is crazy, like very crazy. And I know everyone starts their favorites videos like this, but it's crazy to me. I think the last favorites video I did was my January favorites. So I haven't done a favorites video in quite a while. But instead of incorporating all the products that I've been loving from February on, I just decided to stick with April because we'd be sitting here for three hours. And who wants to watch a three hour favorites video? No one. So let's get into the favorites. Alright, so my first favorite is actually this hair, which isn't looking so good right now, but I got this hair. I ordered it online. I'll put the link down below from where I ordered it, but it is just synthetic hair and it is, let me get the package. Okay, so here's the hair and like I said before, it is synthetic and it is the model model post per it is the model model post Peruvian blowout texture in straight as you can see it comes with seven different pieces and you get two 20 inches two bundles like little tiny bundles of 18 inches two 22 inches and then you also get a closure so seven pieces and i am only using i think six of those pieces five of those pieces because i didn't use the closure and i didn't use one of the 18 inch bundles and so the hair is just really thick as i stated it's synthetic so it does tangle it doesn't shed as bad as i thought it would but it does tangle a bit um the ends are dry now i've had this hair in for about a week and i really love it it's time to take it out tomorrow it was like 20 bucks very affordable so if you see this in your local beauty supply store definitely pick it up all right, so sticking with hair, I have a few hair products to show you. The first is this Camille Rose Natural Almond J Twisting Butter. Now, I got this from Target a few weeks ago, actually about a month ago now, and I used it on a twist out that I did, and I really, really, really love the results. This stuff keeps your hair soft, but it has a hold to it. I mean, I don't know how they do it. It just, it has this great hold to it. So you get so much definition and body with your twist outs, braid outs, whatever you want to use it for. Also, it smells like cake batter. So it smells so good. And it's not really a gel-like consistency. It's still like a butter-like consistency. But like I said, you get so much hold and so much definition in your style. So I really, really love this. Another product that I have is the Garnier Fruity Style Sleek and Shine Flat Iron Perfector. I bought, I've been using this because I actually did a Brazilian keratin treatment on my hair and I'll have updates about that later, but I did a Brazilian keratin treatment on my hair and I use this as my heat protectant. It gives your hair such a good shine as you're straightening it. So I really, really, really love this and um, it's actually really cheap. Garnier hair products are like, this is like $3 or $4 so it's super cheap. I've had it for a while and I really do love it. I don't straighten my hair very much so I don't use it very often but when I do I'm always pleased with the results. Moving on girl, I have one more hair product and this is the, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Jure Hair Care Products Edge Control and I actually got this from a brand from Instagram. I just happened to see, I think I follow the page My Hair Is, My Natural Hair Is Dope or Natural Hair something. I follow the Instagram page and I saw them promoting this brand on the page and I'll have it linked below on where you can buy it and I'm not sponsored they're not they don't even know I'm doing this video but I love this edge control so much it really really holds my 4c edges okay and it is just a clear almost gel looking edge control but I really love it it doesn't leave much of a buildup it doesn't flake or anything like that so if you're looking for a good edge control this is definitely one to try Okay, last non makeup product is actually a skincare product, and it is the Glam Glow Super Cleanse Daily Clearing Cleanser. Now, I did an entire review on this video comparing it to another cleanser that I use, um, but 
I bought it again. I rebought the damn $40 cleanser, but I bought the small size. So this one wasn't $40. This one was actually only $14. And I really did like this for spot clearing my face. So if I'm getting a breakout, if I see one coming, if I already have one, I'll go ahead and cleanse my face with this for a couple of days and the breakout is gone. This stuff is phenomenal. I just don't need a $40 cleanser for every single day. So this is a much more affordable option. It's $14 and it clears up all of my breakouts so I definitely encourage you to try the small size before you go dropping money on any of the glam glow products all right guys so let's start with some lashes I have here my like favorite lashes ever these are the Coco lashes in goddess these like I said are my absolute favorite lashes that I've ever tried I am hooked on cocoa lashes I just actually placed an order for some more of them and I have an entire drawer full of them already so I'm hooked on these lashes they're so gorgeous if you can see them they're so gorgeous and wispy Oh, and they're only six dollars a pack so they're really really good price and you can reuse these over and over and over again I have probably the longest time I've probably reused them probably about 12 times I reused the pair and they still looked good when I threw them out I think I just lost one of them so that's why I couldn't keep reusing them but I had to use those lashes about 12 times so I have so many boxes of cocoa lashes they're amazing definitely check them out all right so I will start with my primer I've been using this is the Becca ever matte poreless priming perfecter and this is the primer that I have been using this month like crazy I mean I've been using this every single day this is the small size you get this out of the danger zone at Sephora and I just absolutely love this primer for controlling oil you guys know I have oily skin and this is the time of year where it really starts to rear its ugly head so this stuff has been a lifesaver and will probably continue to be a lifesaver all summer so this is probably going to be a repurchase once I finish this bottle Sticking with primers, I have an eyeshadow base. This is the MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. This is a repurchase for me because I did have Painterly before and I really, really love to use it as a base. I always still put a primer on my eyelid when I use this because this will crease on you so I use a primer and then I put this on top and it just helps to lay the color on your eyelid and make the color more vibrant and pretty and I just really really love this paint pot here's an eyeshadow that I know I've talked about on my channel and I've just been obsessed with this month this is the Stila iconic eyeshadow in kitten it is such a gorgeous eyeshadow color it's like a really nice champagne color and it is just amazing looking on the lid I have it on my lid right now and I'm just in love with this eyeshadow color it is so pigmented and it's like the perfect lid color you can use it for every day or you can glam it up so you can go out it's it's just beautiful and Stila makes really really nice shadows so this one is no different all right y'all I think we're gonna go a little backwards here and we're gonna go into some lips I have become a color pop junkie like like I need the color pop like junkie like crazy so I have so many lip products so many eyeshadows I have blushes highlighters all of this and I've accumulated all of this in probably the last like four weeks I have just fell in love with ColourPop. I know I'm late to the bandwagon, but I'm finally on it and riding it. So this is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip Color in Chi. This was from the Karuchi Collection, and I absolutely love ColourPop lip colors. This one has been my favorite this month. It's a gorgeous, like darker, neutral lip but it's just so pretty. They dry nicely on your lips. They don't they don't transfer and they just stay on your lips all day. The Ultra Mattes do get a little drying, but I did try the Ultra Satin Lips this month as well and those do not get nearly as drying. So if you're looking for something that's not going to really, really dry out your lips, try the Ultra Satin Lips, but this has been my favorite color this month so that's why I am showing you guys what it looks like. All right, sticking with lips, I have a NYX Lip Lingerie. This one is in the color Ruffle Trim, and this has been definitely a favorite of mine. I just love the way it looks on the lips. It is like the perfect, like, nudie, almost nudie mauve color, and I've just been obsessed with it. I really have. These NYX Lip Lingeries are so 
they're just so pretty I, I don't know they're so gorgeous and I wish I could find more colors in my store this is a terrible swatch you guys so I'm sorry but there it is but I wish I could find more colors in my store they're just always sold out so I'm just gonna have to order them online but um yeah these are great lip products these aren't too drying either so I definitely love that about them they're not as long wearing as the ColourPop lippies but it's not too drying and they still have a long wear a long wear essence to them last lippy this month is by Too Faced and this is the Too Faced Li liquefied matte longwear lipstick this is one of the melted matte lipsticks and this one is in the color queen b so i had to pick that up it is the most gorgeous mauve color ever and this is another matte liquid lipstick this one now isn't too drying so i love that about this lippy it is 21 dollars, so a little on the pricey side when you can get color pop lippies for six dollars but it's still very gorgeous. I love the formula. I love that Too Faced has come out with these liquid lipsticks and not those messy um, squeeze tube liquid lipsticks. I like those, but I just don't like how messy they are. So these are a lot more convenient. All right, two more products to go, and they're both cheek products. The first is this Pressed Mineral Blush from e.l.f., and this is in the color Wanderlust. I have been absolutely, positively obsessed over this blush. It is so gorgeous on the cheeks. I have it on today. I don't know if it's still there. It might have worn off because I've had this makeup on for a few hours now, but this blush is so, so, so gorgeous. I mean, so gorgeous. Elf blushes, the mineral ones, are just absolutely amazing. They're really, really pigmented. Elf mineral blushes are just absolutely amazing. They're very pigmented and they have a pretty good array of colors. There's not that many, but the colors that they do have are just very gorgeous. So I definitely love this one. If you have not tried them, check them out. Last but not least, I have this Black Radiance pressed powder this is in the color rich mahogany and I have been using this as a contour color this I don't know where I've been and why I haven't used this before I haven't heard anyone talk about this but I just happened to see this in the store it was on clearance and I was like you know what let me try this out as a bronzer and I used it and I love it I have not been able to put this down this month just because it's a pressed powder so it dries really matte and it stays put like I just really like that about it and the color isn't too dark for my skin tone either so if you have my skin tone I think this will really suit you well even a little darker this will really suit you well it's pigmented but not overly so because again it is just a pressed powder so it's not there to really add a lot of color to your face so it's not overly pigmented but it definitely has great color pigmentation to it what you would want for a contour color so it won't leave you like a really stark dark line you can definitely work with it you can definitely blend it out this stuff is amazing and it was like I think I got it on clearance for like two dollars but I think regular price is like $4.99 or so Alright guys, so those are all of the products that I have been loving for April. Thank you so much for taking time to spend it with me. Don't forget that I post videos every single Monday and every single Thursday of every single week. I also throw in bonus videos throughout the week, so don't forget to subscribe so you will get all the notifications for my videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. They are always linked down below in the description box. I also just started a new Facebook page, so definitely please show me some love and like my Facebook page. It is just Facebook.com backslash Yvette Loves Beauty Y-B-E-T-T-E-L-U-V-S-B-E-A-U-T-Y so if you could show me some love I definitely appreciate it again the rest of my social medias are down below Snapchat, Instagram, also my fitness pal because I am on my fitness journey trying to work it out and I think that's really all I have to say. I love you guys so, so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't joined the family. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.